Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be giving you my overview on a few little things I'm seeing in the market. Taking a look at what kind of opportunities may be presenting themselves in the coming days or weeks. And I will also be looking a little bit at Harmony and Viper Swap. Just taking a look at the new pools on there and the one single staking. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're just gonna take a very brief look at the TA and just look at the things I'm looking at at the moment. So we're just still continuing this downtrend, but we had a nice bounce off the bottom of this trend here. Um, what I have spotted is that we have got a divergence playing out here. So we can see the price action is going downwards but we've actually got the divergence here. If we use the line graph, we can see this very clearly. So actually, I think we are maybe almost kind of bottoming out here. Um, maybe we sort of go into accumulation and build this divergence a little bit longer, but I think it's looking okay. I think, I think it's a matter of time before this average starts to come down and we come up to meet it. Looking at the Bitcoin dominance, we can see we're still following this trend here and we are we are kind of flirting with this trend line here. I expect that we will get more um, upwards on in terms of Bitcoin dominance. I think we are gonna go towards this 50 again and then probably bounce off there. So I think the whole market is going to be led um, by Bitcoin and then hopefully the altcoins will sort of get dragged up with it a little bit also. Funnily enough, looking at the S&P 500 also looks like there is some kind of correlation as well. We kind of had this massive bounce after um, quite a significant dip over the last sort of four days. Okay, on to the altcoin season indicator. I think I talked about in a previous video, not so long ago, that once we came down to this kind of, um, into the 60s or towards 50, then it looks like we're gonna head straight down into Bitcoin season. It's looking like that's kind of played out. So Bitcoin season means it's altcoin season basically. So it's the time to look for altcoin bargains but like this one is probably going to last a little while so probably we're going to have like a good couple of months i can't really see it bouncing back into altcoin season so possibly we're going to look at something like this at 2017 we dipped into here for a couple of months and then went back up into altcoin season so I'm not going to talk too much about that where I expect Bitcoin to go before we go back into altcoin season, whether we're going to go to like 100k and then go into the altcoin season, uh, uh, mega altcoin season run. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about that too much, but I don't think it's still, I still, I still, I'm still want to accumulate more Bitcoin because I think Bitcoin is due to big run actually so I don't think it's too bad to be still be buying Bitcoin at this this kind of levels probably you can mix in some altcoins as well but um, it's, it's certainly sort of backpacking time I think you want to get your bags packed with Bitcoin if you haven't already back up here I was I was selling all my altcoins so the, on, the only thing I've kind of suffered with is DeFi Taking a look at the fear and greed index. Yesterday we had extreme fear at 10, even though it kind of bounced, which was a bit confusing for me. But um, it's been a long time in this fear and I don't really follow the on-chain things too much. I listen to other people like Willy Woo or whoever else. You know, there's lots of people to listen to about the on-chain stuff, but they're, they're saying 
you know, there's more addresses than ever. All the kind of fundamentals are looking bullish. So, yeah, I just think this is a temporary thing. You know, events can, big events like kind of Elon Musk and stuff like that, it, it can kind of affect the chart, you know, it can, I think it can bring up some anomalies, at least in my view. I think the idea that we're in bear market is it's really doesn't make much sense. Okay, so um over here on Viper Exchange, um Venom Dow on Harmony, just doing my thing. I've just kind of set and set and forget my liquidity pool on here. They also integrated um, Luna on here. We've got a massive like 9,000% APR for Luna. Luna, I also have some. Maybe we'll take a look in another video. I'll just kind of set and forget that. I really need to get around to taking a look at that actually. One thing to note, we've got one UST, which is the stable coin minted um, by Luna. And then, yeah, of course, this Luna Viper. Let's take a look at that pause I'm in. So I have uh, one, Vi one X Viper, which is earned by, the X Viper is earned by Staking Viper. And if you follow, if you can look at my previous tutorial on this, you only get like 5% of the reward and 95% is locked for a long time. So I've got like $1.06 on here and 29. So the actual one Viper pool I've got on here getting a crazy like APR still seven seven point eight K and I've got seven hundred locked and thirty seven to claim. Let's take a look. I can't even remember how much I deposited on here. I think I deposited like somewhere between two hundred and four hundred dollars. I mean and that's gotta be down quite a significant bit so here we say yeah the viper um five percent you can access 95 you can't it's claimed up okay what else have we got on here if we click staking we also have the viper nest so this is if you've been on bsc this is similar to the syrup pool you can stake the native token and then you can also earn other tokens for other um, platforms, farms, other projects on chain. So um, basically this is giving value to people to hold the token because then you can use the token to stake and get other things. And we've just got like a modest APR here, 20% and 24%. But something to note, we do have the option to stake our one uh, how many token and earn viper so it is it's decent i mean it's I, I don't really know anywhere else better to stake it at the moment so i'm just gonna go through with that i've got like four thousand on here i don't it's not a great deal i think it's worth like 200 bucks or something Okay, so first of all, I need to get wrapped one. How do we do that? Okay, so it's fairly easy actually. We just search wrap one. Um, you can click it here. And then just on the swap. And then just select all how much you want to do and wrap. Push the guai a little bit. So now we can deposit. Prove this. Deposit. Confirm. Yep. 
Here you go, boy a kasha. Okay, so we got another feature on here which is really interesting actually. Okay, so if you go to staking and go down to bridge pools, then we have all these pools. One wrapped BTC to Binance Smart Chain BTC B. And one ETH, so that's how many one ETH with Binance Smart Chain ETH. Um, also got a stable coin here. So it just says, you get a picture, right? It's Harmony at Binance Smart Chain token on Harmony. If, if that doesn't confuse it a little bit, but um, so check out the APRs, right? We've got 50, 50%, 60% pretty decent you know for a stable coin 63 percent apr and what is it um bridge pools a new liquidity farming incentive on vibe sort of reduced let reduced permanent loss risk the bridge pools are representing the same underlying asset from ethereum and binance smart chain in theory, it should mean there's no IL and permanent loss, but in practice, you'll need very deep liquidity and a lot of effective arbitrage bots to make this a reality. So, okay, they can't guarantee 100% IL, 100% uh, free from IL. So, it's using, using their new Viper Nest LP system and a total of 100k Viper will be distributed during a period of 60 days, so only 60 days. When is this? July 20th, so it started like three days ago. So, so probably, there's not, there's, there's not much in here, right? There is not much deposited in here at all. So if you're a stable coin kind of guy, Actually, if you're if you're a Bitcoin kind of guy and you got some some stuff on Harmony, this looks really good, you know. Yeah, that 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 looks pretty good. You know, that's really interesting. If you've got maybe you just got some bitcoin and eth maybe you could partition a little bit off and put some in here that's an idea certainly if you've got stable coins i think about that probably i'll ponder that tonight think about if i can move some over and by the way there's no lock on this you can just withdraw whenever so you can just find all these on the swap. One wrap BTC. What can we get? BSC. All the BSC stuff. It's really, it's really strange, and I mean a wrapped BSC token on Harmony. Okay, so expect expect there to be some more um, projects on here. So that's really good. It's really innovative. I like it. Getting back to Polygon. By the way, if you're looking how to create a custom RPC, check out my full tutorial on my finance. I listed how to make your own custom RPC. It's really straightforward. So Polycat Finance, I was really pondering hard to sell at $16 and I didn't and I kind of regret. That's, one, that's my biggest regret actually in this kind of downtrade, but whatever. So actually there's been 2.813 million minted and there is only a maximum supply of 3 million. So we're talking about about 7% left, something like that. So this will be interesting to see if the token actually works as another function, as uh, some kind of yield aggregator or whatever else they're gonna do on here. That's gonna be really interesting. My finance Cam Ratmatic is now available as well. 
So again, check out my tutorial if you're wondering what's that, what that's all about. It's basically a auto compounding of a matic, matic deposit. So basically, once you got that, you can actually loan against that as well. So, so you can deposit your matic on here. And then you can loan it. Just check out the tutorial, explain everything. Take a look at the new proposals. We have adding new collateral assets. So we've got the choice of Ethereum, Aave, the governance token, BTC, Link, Sushi. And then they will also be adding the Aave auto compounding token as well. So then we can borrow a 0% interest against any of them, but there are fees on repayment, but just like 0.5%. Of course, if it's a big amount, it's going to be quite a lot, right? Minimum collateral to debt ratio will be 150%. So what, what do we want? If it's very far ahead, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for Bitcoin. So we'll just do that vote. Have a bit extra voting power because I locked the chi. What else we got? We got Adamant, this new locking function. This really confused the hell out of me. Now they're displaying the APY on top of APR. So we are getting this boosted Addy and from Vaults. And what is that? Okay, so it works sort of like a boost point depending on how long you lock it. So if you lock for four years, you get one. If you lock for one year, you get 0.25 and if you lock for 91 days then you get 0 0.06 and then you need 50 of those points to get 10% normal vault earning boost this is not final so yeah they can change this so this, this is just going to be a trial period and we'll see how this works out but I don't think the old Locked Addy will be included in that. So I mean, four years is very excessive just to get just to get a ten percent boost. Maybe like ninety one days, but you're you're gonna need to lock up so much. I do expect these APRs to increase again once Matic starts to get going again. I think it's already started to increase. From, oh, we get a 400% here, it's 1% a day, that's fantastic. So make of that what you will. I'm not really sure what to say about that really. I think it's good. I think if people want to do that, then it's going to raise the token price, so whatever. Um, we also got the emission schedule which now we are in July, so it's really starting to sort of crank down now. And I like I like this long term planning. We've got we've got this emission schedule all the way to the end of next year. So yeah, it's it's becoming deflationary over time. Looking at my polygon tokens struggle it's been a struggle polydoge especially has been absolutely crushed and the volume is so low but i'm just gonna huddle on so that's just about it for today it's been an encouraging few days but i still think it's going to be a little bit slow but at least at least this kind of last two days especially yesterday was quite a big positive day and hopefully we can sort of use that as a base to continue upwards.